e-commerce weekly what's new and what's noteworthy next on the list is paypal we know paypal as a convenient payment solution but their aim is actually to get even more convenient now with the rollout of their new digital wallet they'll have some new features like budgeting tools support for cryptocurrency the buy now pay later functionality and to top it off they'll have a seamless integration with all of the shopping tools from their newly acquired company honey so what does it mean for merchants and consumers well with the new shopping tools from honey paypal will now be able to track consumers from their initial phase their initial interest in a product target them with promotions and savings, and then have all of the checkout experience be in one place. And now with this data, they're going to be actually providing anonymous data to merchants to help them with driving sales. Next, customers have the access to a new digital currency, as now you'll be able to buy, sell, and hold cryptocurrency across 28 million different merchants without any new integrations on the merchant side. And lastly, they will be doing a complete overhaul transformation on all of their newly acquired companies to bring all of the features together in one place. So no more switching between apps or having to use a desktop experience to get what you need. I don't know, to me, this screams convenience. So are brands actually ensuring that they have PayPal a part of their ecosystem? Because if you're not, you could be missing out on customers that want convenience. That's all for Ecom Weekly. Tell me what you think.